What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com, back at you with another video. Today, man, we're going to be stitching up another beanie for one of y'all. But before I do that, I got to give a shout out to the fan, man. My cousin actually made this hat. He's into crochet. I don't know how long he's been doing it, but I think it's, it's pretty new for him. And for him to be able to be making stuff like this already, I had to show him some love. So he actually made me this uh, beanie for my birthday. I've been wearing it and stuff like that. And he actually put together a whole video for me to uh, allow me to show you guys the process of how he does crochet hats. While we're on the beanies, one of you guys contacted me, right? You sent me uh, your design to be digitized. Now, uh, putting stuff on beanies is something that I've been doing, but I kind of do it... Um, just for those who actually ask for it, it's actually not on the website. The reason why I don't have this service on my website so where you can actually, you know, see exactly how much it'll cost and stuff like that is because not every design is going to be able to fit. This is the image that I digitized for the customer. I don't have the uh, before, but it was actually a totally different color. It didn't have the border. Just everything was different. So I pretty much remade this entire design for the customer. Uh, he wanted the outline, the word favor, and the uh, little symbol logo thing down there in the back, right? So we got this logo right here, and we're going to be putting it onto a beanie. Now, in order to assist me to be making a beanie, we're going to be using this right here. Y'all remember this? If you don't, hit the card that pops up. This right here is the Echidna Hooping Station that was actually gifted to me from John Deere's Embroidery Legacy. Now, the way we got to do this first, we're going to go ahead and take... Our hoop, take it out just a little bit, and we're going to put our back side into it just like this. We're going to line it up just like this. So this right here is my stabilizer. It's actually a half piece from a previous project. And this right here is just another piece of felt right here. We're going to center it up right here, right? We're going to use our magnets to hold this bad boy in place. Up next, you want to go ahead and get the beanie. And we're going to be using just this small area right here that we have. So now what we need to do is pull the beanie inside out. And we're going to be pulling this over the section that we just mapped out. Now we're going to go ahead and get our hoop and push it in here. There you have it. Push it in there real good. There it is. Got it. Looks like it's going across evenly across the center. The uh, stabilizer is sticking out just enough. Now what we can go ahead and do is just pull this thing off to the side. We can go ahead and remove the magnets here and just tighten it down. There you have it. There you have it. Now we got to keep in mind too, since we pulled this hat inside out, the design is going to go right here, but the design is upside down at this point though, because when you put the hat the right side up, it goes this way. So this is the way it goes into the machine. So we do need to make sure that we put the design into the machine upside down very important do not forget it i'm going to go ahead and slide this under our needle here slide that to the side this is how the design is looking on the machine as well by the way so this full design says it's only going to take 19 minutes there you have it never deny me.com quick shout out to myself um there it is so we do have this thing laid in there pretty flush stabilizer on the bottom beanie in the center everything is set now we need to go ahead and get our thread um the color that we're going to use for our uh, placement stitch and tack down. Y'all know how I like to do it when I do my designs myself. Uh, placement stitch and tack down to start. And the color I'm going to choose is actually going to be white um, because it's going to allow me to see it a little bit better on here to make sure that it is going to be, you know, centered where I want it to be at, as well as the border that we're going to finish it off with is also going to be white. So it's just going to blend in real smooth. So let me go ahead and load up our white embroidery thread, which I do have sitting right here. And I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. We're going to move it around, make sure everything is going to be centered along the beanie where we want it. All right, let's actually move it up like two spots here. One, two. Let's try this again. The reason you want to make sure it's moving around and stuff like that, I'm trying to make sure there's enough clearance along the top and the bottom of where our folds are in this beanie here. Let's go all the way to the top. Looks like the fold is there. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Got a little bit of clearance on the bottom there. Everything is centered one more time. It's not going to hit any of the corners, nothing like that. So we should be good after this. And let's go. So 
So from here, guys, we should be good. But before I continue, I actually do want to pull this up and remove it just to make sure it caught everything that it's supposed to catch. It caught the stabilizer. I have plenty of stabilizer enough to do the beanie here. It is centered with our design. You can see it very easily. So now we can go ahead and just pop it back in. Let's go ahead and get our material right here. And this is what I use in place of using like, um, uh, like water soluble stabilizer. I'll just use a piece of this and I actually need to cut it just a tad bit smaller it looks like. And this is gonna be used to catch the uh, uh, thread. Instead of sinking into the beanie, it's going to sit on top of this. Slide it out from behind. And this is what we have so far, guys. So we have our beanie adhered to the stabilizer. We have uh, our extra material on top that's gonna give it like some padding, another cool textured look there. Now you do wanna be careful with this, of course, because the same way that I can accidentally, um, or the same way that I'm cutting the, the extra material away, I could accidentally you know, cut into the beanie. So you do wanna be very careful when doing this because you don't want to cut your beanie up before you even made it, right? Y'all gotta let me know too how you guys like these different angles. I'm trying to put used to all these cameras. The purpose of this camera mainly is for the purpose of vlogging. I've been vlogging on my other channel. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen too much of it just yet, but that's what's going to be happening on my, on my other channel some more. And this is an easier camera and stuff for me to use when I do my beard videos. Just stick it right onto the mirror because it's real light. I can get the angles up close and everything. So I'm going to be testing out this camera a little bit more. But for now, in this video, we're going to be using both angles. So y'all got to let me know how y'all like that. Let me know if the production value uh, is going up. Making sure I can feel the scissors on both sides before I cut. So I don't want to mess up this beanie. The material has been cut. All we have is the design area that we're going to be using right there. Let's go ahead and slide it back into the machine. Making sure every step, every time you take it out, you do want to make sure that the uh, beanie is removed from the back. Definitely do not want to stitch this beanie on top of itself like I have done. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'll show you guys up close with this one. Again, this thing is going upside down, so you guys will see the final result when we're all done with it. I guess I'll be seeing the final result when we're done as well. To the machine it says this whole thing for this section is only going to take about two minutes to finish up already making progress i like how the material that i use in the back there gives it a slight little bit of uh like a puff feature i like the way this thing is coming together the white is looking real solid on top of the black. As you guys can tell, it is not sinking into the beanie at all. That is the reason why we want to use the, uh, the fabric to stitch on top of to make sure our threads stay on top of the beanie and it does not sink into the beanie at all. Looking real good so far. Let me know what y'all think. That it is upside down but the way that I uh, put the beanie in here I actually had to do the design upside down and this section right here does overlap slightly Just putting that real nice border on there. It should be clean. 
So this is going to look real nice. We'll go ahead and let it finish up. Again, it said it's going to take about three minutes here. And there you have it, y'all. Let's set this camera up and take our big reveal together. Slide it from behind. It is looking great to me. Let me go ahead and remove these uh, little jump stitches that you guys might see right there. Let's do that first, and then we'll go ahead and take it out. Let's actually just remove the stabilizer from behind now. You want to get close, but not real close. Just don't have it, you know, sloppy at the end. But it doesn't matter if the... Uh, stabilizer is showing at all so you don't have to get it right on the line because this is going to be on the inner flap of the, of the beanie anyway so there it is you guys can see it just like this and now we'll go ahead and flip it the other way around the way it is supposed to be and looks perfect to me what we was going for and the result i always send like a preview to my customers let them know this hey this is how the design gonna look and once you approve we get it going and I think to me, it looks just like it. NeverDeniMe.com, man. Make sure y'all go to the website. Shop with me. I rock with y'all, man. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. And there you have it, man. This bad boy's all packaged up. It low-key look like it's being vacuum sealed, but you know, it ain't. But I just take care of everything I do. You feel me? NeverDeniMe.com. Make sure y'all go to the website. Get something done by me. Anything from digital to physical. Again, beanies at the moment, at the time of the recording of this video, you will not see beanies actually on my site for me to customize your design. What you would do is actually just submit your design to be digitized like you normally would. Pay for a patch and actually... Let me know you guys want it on a beanie. I'll see what color and stuff like that I have available or what I can get my hands on. And we can actually do this something like this for y'all. So that's how this customer ended up getting one. Paid for a patch. Paid for digitizing. Say, hey, man, you got any beanies on hand? Throw it on one if you got one. I'll pay the price difference. And what do you know? It's on the way to him right now. Catch you on the next video. Peace. By the way, you wanted it on a hat as well. So that can be done too.